A Downing Street spokesman has rejected a claim by the DUP leader Ian Paisley that the British Prime Minister Tony Blair sent a coded message to the IRA saying he didn't want it to decommission its weapons. At his party's annual conference in OMA, Dr Paisley said the message was in Mr Blair's Irrhtha speech when he said he would ask no one to surrender. It's been a tough year for the DUP. The Good Friday Agreement was signed and supported by 71% of the North's voters. Yes, the party itself did manage 20 seats in the new Assembly. Delegates were today told there was no way they would sit in the same cabinet as Sinn Féin. The only cabinet the provost should be in is made of wood and has brass handles. But the speeches may have lacked in new ideas, they certainly didn't lack in fire and brimstone. The release of two IRA men earlier this week came in for particular criticism. And now they both grin as they leave the prison and Tony Blair says it is my duty to let them out. Such a man is not fit to be Prime Minister of this country. Also in for a severe tongue lashing were David Trimble, Sinn Féin and Bertie O'Hearn. Dr Paisley said he believed Tony Blair did not expect the IRA to decommission. We will resist with every drop in our blood this hideous treachery that has been hatched by Blair and Trimble. Delegates voiced their support for the orange men in Porter Down. Today, security was tight when once again they marched to the parish church at Drum Cree. There, orange leaders pledged they would walk the Garvahi Road before the new year. Michael O'Kane, RT News, Oma.